every time we put a folding video out, we ask for comment. Well, I mean, we do that in all of our videos, but in the folding videos, we ask you what else you want to know how to fold. So this is the fourth installment of our folding series, and we are covering how to fold a fitted sheet, a skirt, a maxi dress, how to hang fold a sweater, and how to create animals out of towels. And it is being hotly debated what this animal actually is. The point is I'm gonna show you the technique, the animal and the creativity, that's all up to you. Stick around. We get asked all the time about how to fold fitted sheets. And I know, everybody wants their fitted sheet to look like this. It looks hard, but trust me, it's not that hard once you figure out how to get it done. Quick pointer, my sheets are silk, so they look super wrinkled. Most people's sheets aren't gonna look like this. Either way, this is a straightforward technique and it'll take your sheets from looking freaky to looking fabulous. The first thing you're going to do is find one corner on each side of your fitted sheet. And you're going to stick one hand through one point and one hand through the other point. Then, this is the easy part, you're gonna clap your hands together and you're going to marry the two corners together. So basically you're going to use one hand as your pole, I suppose, and you're going to wrap the other corner around the top of that pole. Now you should have one end of your rectangle perfectly square. You're gonna to get to the other side where you'll see the two opposite corners and you're going to do the same thing. Find one corner and then you're going to wrap the other corner on top of that. Now, if you look at the sheet lying down, you're going to see it looks like a rectangle and that means you've done everything properly and from here, it is smooth sailing. All you're going to do is a tri-fold, so you're gonna fold your sheet in thirds. You're going to fold it in thirds again. And you'll see your fitted sheet is now perfectly folded. Next up, how to fold a maxi dress. The thing is with maxi dresses, they tend to be A-line. And in fact, this tip will work not only for maxi dresses, but shorter dresses or even A-line skirts. And here is what it looks like at the end. And here's how we're gonna do it. I would recommend hanging your maxi dresses where possible, but if you don't have the closet space or if you're traveling, this is the way that you wanna do it. So lay your maxi dress out flat on a surface. And the whole concept behind folding is we wanna have straight lines. And I've said this many times in our folding videos before, once you got the straight lines down, folding it is a breeze. So we're going to create a straight edge on one half of the dress so you can see it's sort of goes on a bias once I folded it. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. Now everything looks straight, kind of like a long skinny rectangle. I'm going to flip the top of the dress down. And this part's really easy. We're just gonna fold a bunch of times until it looks nice. And voila, done. And on the topic of fancy frilly female outfits, we have the skirt. Skirts are pretty simple because they're mostly square already, so there's not much to do. My recommendation is to just do a couple of tri-folds. And you have yourself a nice little skirt package. A lot of us hang our sweaters like this, but every now and then you pull your sweater off the hanger only to see those permanent hanger impressions in the shoulder area. There is a way to avoid it. It is called the hang fold, not to be confused with a hang nail, and it's quite simple to do. Start off by laying your sweater flat and then folding it in half. Once that's done, take the hook of your hanger, place it into the armpit area of your sweater, fold the body portion of your sweater across the hanger, and then take the arm portion of your sweater and fold it across the other part of the hanger. This is what the hang fold looks like when it's all complete. I think it's a great technique to use for your more delicate sweaters. The reason I would say not to do it for all of your sweaters is because it can get a little bit bulky. For your finer materials, it's okay, but for anything that's a little bit thicker, you're just going to want to hang it as you normally would. All right, on to the towel animal. So full disclosure here, this is my first time trying it. I was on a cruise ship. The guy who took care of our room created this elaborate zoo of towel animals. So I thought it would be kind of fun to give it a try. But like I said, this is my first time, read some instructions. We're gonna try it together. What you're going to do is take the tip of one end of the towel and fold it into a triangle. And then you're going to repeat on the other side leaving a few inches down there at the bottom. Now we're going to roll each corner in to create the body of the animal. The real secret here is that I rolled inward, not straight. Now you're going to fold the towel up a little bit to create a body. You can see what's going on here. 
And then you're going to form with your hands the swan head and beak. So this will require a little bit of patience and manipulation. Again, this is my first time, so I would appreciate no judgments, unless you want to tell me I'm doing a great job, in which case I'm open to it. I gotta be honest with you, not looking like a swan, more looking like someone leaning over a toilet and puking. Either way, I never said I was a pro at this. This was my first time. I would love to see if you give one of these towel animal person sculpture things a try and what your success rate is like. So tag me on Instagram, I'm at Melissa Maker. The camera guy whose great idea this was, by the way, he is at the Chad Reynolds. We are at Clean My Space. And I would encourage you to let us know in the comments down below if you have any other folding questions that we can help you out with in perhaps a future folding video. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Now it's that special time of the week where we get to direct your attention to a few other videos I think you're going to love. The first one is folding tips number one, not surprisingly. The second one is folding tips number two, and I know this one's not going to blow your mind. Folding tips number three, right over there on the very end. Check those out, they are super helpful, full of great folding tips. You can also visit our website, which is cleanmyspace.com. We have all kinds of great cleaning information on there. You can also sign up for our newsletter there, The Dirty Dish. Check it out at cleanmyspace.com. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next week.